Hey, beautiful people. I'm so excited today. I've started my first vegetable garden this year, and I want to take you through how it's going. Hello, beautiful. I am Yasmin, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing. Be sure to give the video a like and leave some comments. I appreciate that. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay. So some of the planting has gone tremendously well. I've had a uh, great success with the plants being very healthy, whereas some of the plants and herbs that I've done have been tremendous disasters. I'm learning a lot, so I know the next time I plant these uh, herbs and vegetables, they're going to bloom brilliantly going to be sharing with you which plants did really well and which ones have been disasters. I do have to put the sunglasses on because my eyes are sensitive to the sun. So let's get started. Okay, the first plant I have here is edamame. I love to eat ed edamame. It's one of the favorite snacks that my husband and I like to eat. See these planting bags? These are 30 gallons, so they're pretty uh, big bags. And they've done a pretty good job because I've got pretty good growth here. These were probably about six inches tall when I purchased them. And they're over 18 inches maybe. And you could see that there's edamame starting to come out. So in another week, perhaps they'll be ready. Look at that. How gorgeous. Okay, these plants, these are Chinese water spinach. I planted them about a week ago and look how the seedlings have flourished. As a matter of fact, the seedlings were given to me by my nail salon. Uh, one of the girls there, she's a very good and avid planter and she always likes to give me some seeds. This is my first time actually trying Chinese water spinach and I can't wait to get this in one of my dishes and I'm thinking a simple stir fried might work very well. Uh, so I'll be sharing that recipe with you once I do it. So on this section of the garden, I have a collection of different items here. Uh, the first one is cayenne pepper here and they're starting to show uh, cayenne pepper on here. They look gorgeous. I like a lot of spiciness. If you looked at any of my food videos, many of them does have that added touch of spiciness. I also have habanero uh, trees here, and they're starting to show habaneros on them. Look at that. Beautiful. There's two of these in here, and both of them have started uh, to grow peppers. I also have a cherry tomato plant here. There's a lot of flowers on it, but I don't see any um, tomatoes on this particular one, but I have a couple more of them around the garden. You also see I added some potted uh, marigolds here. Moving right along, these are my beautiful Swiss chard. These are white Swiss chard and they're doing beautifully. As a matter of fact, when I planted this from seedlings, I put way too many seedlings. So I had to transplant them and I was very nervous that they wouldn't grow when I transplanted because the roots are so delicate. Um, however, I, I threw out a bunch of them, but I was able to save some that are doing really well. So these will probably be ready to harvest in another week or less. Okay, this entire section here is really beans. I have here long beans and these long beans, the seedlings were given to me again by my Asian uh, nail salonist and they're doing amazing. I just stalked them because they're going to be going up uh, uh, and growing those very long beans, which those beans we called Bora growing up in Guyana. So I can't wait to harvest these when they come out, but I have several plants here, which is kind of plenty. I do have some uh, French style uh, beans in the back um, and all of these here are French style beans. These are bush beans. Beans so have started to come out on these so I can't wait to harvest these and share some recipes with you. So one of my learnings here with the beans is I should have staggered the planting every two or three weeks so that I have a consistent harvest. Uh, but but that's what I'll correct next time I do this. Wow. These are all my tomato plants. I have here uh, early boy tomatoes, and this one has certainly started 
uh, fruit in very early. And as a matter of fact, I had one ripe tomato on it. And when I turned it, when I picked it and turned it around the back, it was eaten by the bug. So hopefully the rest of it will do very well. And I stalk these on these uh, thin bamboo stakes and have them grow up. Now, I was told that we should really harvest. Uh, <laughs> I was told that we should really prune it. So I pruned out some of the uh, leaves on the bottom as well some of uh, the little suckers, which are those uh, little um, offshoots that come out in between the main stem. And then moving right along, I have uh, cherry tomatoes. I'm really excited about the cherry tomatoes because I love cooking with cherry tomatoes. They're always great to make like a quick sauce when I'm cooking a piece of fish or sometimes I do it with chicken, but I'm really excited. Moving along from the tomatoes I have here, this is another jalapeno. No, this is actually a cayenne pepper. You can see a cayenne on here. And then I have the jalapeno right here. It's looking gorgeous. And then I have uh, bell peppers. These are supposed to be red uh, bell peppers, but the growth is very stunted. So I haven't figured out yet what the problem is with this. So okay, moving right along. This, this bed has been a disaster. A couple of things happened. They were blooming beautifully. And first of all, I overcrowded the bed. And these are raised bed that I'm using. Uh, these are cauliflower, and I had a bunch of hybrid broccoli here. I did get three small heads of the hybrid broccoli, so I ended up removing them because I wouldn't get any more. But one of the problems that happened, I have these, the sprinkler system here. For some reason, it was turned off for like two weeks. Don't ask me how. Uh, I probably was playing around with it and didn't realize that it was turned off. So anyways, they started having problems. So I'm hoping that I can save the cauliflower. As you can see what happened with the leaves here. And I see some uh, shoots like cauliflower in there. So I'm hoping they will come back good. And this section is my pride and joy. This is where all of my herbs are. And I find that this area has a nice amount of shade. So it works perfectly. So let me take you through. I did have, I actually did have some disasters, uh, but everything is coming together really nicely now. And I've had an abundance of harvest already because a lot of the herbs, you have to uh, cut them down. Otherwise they start bolting. Um, but let's go through them. Okay. So here I have my Greek oregano. They're doing beautifully. I love to cook uh uh, Greek I love to cook with Greek oregano. I love to put it in salad dressings, which I make a lot of fresh salad dressings, and these are doing relatively well. Here's my English thyme. I have some dried ones here. I haven't uh, harvested these as uh, often as I probably should, but look at that. Gorgeous. And then over here I have, this is a new bunch of lavender that I uh, planted so I'll be making some teas with this I added a pot of uh, marigold here and then I have some uh, beautiful uh, chives I haven't harvested these um, so I need to start doing that but these are beautiful I'll probably put this in a potato dish or something chives and potatoes go very well um, but this is you know some of my pride right here and then moving right along Wow, look at these amazing leaves on this sage, right? These are beautiful sage. This has done very well, no disease. I've uh, cooked a lot of chicken and turkey uh, dishes with this. I also um, have done turkey burgers with it. And over here, I have a batch of uh, rosemary, which I probably shouldn't have had in this garden, but I'll probably transplant it into a pot by itself, which I already took one bunch out and I did that with it. And then these are my basil that are doing very, very well. I did have a batch of basil that didn't do as well. So over here, I have these in pots because I don't have any more raised bed space this year. This is lemongrass. I grew up on lemongrass and we used to, they used to grow wild in the yard and we used to cut them and make tea. They're really good for you. So I'm going to be making some tea with this for you guys. You could put them in curry as well. And then I have my cilantro. These need a little cutting because they're starting to bolt here. 
I actually put it in a separate pot because I had it where the basil was before. And for some reason, they didn't do as well. So I got another batch here. And these I grew from uh, small plants, and it's doing beautifully. And then over here, I have some beautiful mint. This is three types of mint that I have. This one here is actually from last year that came back. It was a very small uh, piece. Uh, but these can grow very wi wild, so I'm trying to train them up here on this trellis. It's really a tomato trellis, but... You know, I'll probably get some steaks and stake these down. And then I have peppermint. And in the back here, I have spearmint. They look very similar. These are a couple of strawberry plants that I'm trying my hands with. And you could see a lot of flowers on here. So I'm hoping to get a small batch of strawberries. Because I love to make smoothies with strawberries. I like to put them in my salad. These plants here are colantro. I haven't had luck with them in the raised bed, so I transplanted them to this pot, and they're starting to bear leaves, as you can see. Culantro is a popular herb that's used in Caribbean cuisine, especially in Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, and these are my pride and joy. This here is married man pork, or it's a type of basil, something that I used a lot growing up in Guyana. And then these broadleaf thyme, as we call it, but they're also known as Cuban oregano or Mexican mint. They are absolutely delicious. The broadleaf thyme grows like crazy, so there's always an abundance of it. And by the way, the broadleaf thyme as well as the married man pork were two disasters. I had planted them in the raised bed and I had to transplant them into these growing bags. Now look at the parsley. These were also a disaster only because they were ready to pick and I went away on vacation and didn't do that. So I had to cut them all down low and they're starting to grow back uh, parsley. I love using parsley in things like chimichurri sauce. Uh, they are absolutely delicious. I do admit, however, that parsley is not my number one choice of herbs. All right, guys. So this is it. So beautiful people, I would say overall my first year as a vegetable gardener and I've grown herbs in the past, I'm having a good amount of success, a tremendous amount of learnings and I'm really looking forward to expanding my garden in the future. Before I wrap up, I'm just harvesting some of the lemongrass, these beautiful fresh basil leaves. Look at that sage also some of this uh cilantro look at that some of these amazing beautiful smelling mint and of course these broadleaf thyme these things are fascinating look at that it's really hot out here today i think it's over 90 degrees so it's time for me to go inside with these beautiful herbs that I've just picked that I'm going to be using to season some hamburgers and making some teas as well. I'll share those in a different video with you. I do hope that you enjoyed this video of my first year garden and I hope to bring you many more and hopefully down the road I'll be able to expand the garden. In the meantime, you could check out some of my uh, homemade uh, recipes and I'll see you for the next video. Happy cooking and planting.